basketball legend Ronnie Fields. Well, there's a new documentary out that helps to answer that question. Ronnie Fields was the best player in the country as a senior. When I would go through McDonald's, they wouldn't even take his money. I was just focusing on basketball and dating women. He became so good, so big, that no one ever said no to Ronnie. Things came back, you know, things came back. I used to always say, make me smile like you can crash and burn. Ronnie Fields out of Farragut Academy. He is with us today, and the man who decided to make the documentary, Thatcher Kamen. Guys, good to see you. Ronnie, to long time. Hey, Great to see yeah, you. Well, Thatcher, thanks for being here. For sure, Corey. Thank so, you. So, uh, you went to Kickstarter to get this thing rolling. What made you, make, made, made you want to make this doc? Well, I grew up in Chicagoland while Ronnie was in high school, so we all kind of know Ronnie. He was a part of our childhood, I think, going to Farragut games and seeing him and Kevin Garnett play. And so when I met Ronnie, the opportunity came up to really create his tell his story and tell his message out there. And so by going to Kickstarter, we were able to crowdsource the funding needed to license a lot of the archival video in the documentary, and we had already shot for two years' worth of interviews before that. So now we're ready to premiere it July 11th at Park Community Church at 7 p.m. and really share the story with the city and invite as many people out here to see Ronnie's story and be able to hear his message and what's going on in his life now because Ronnie played after high school. It just didn't end after high school. So. Exactly. And Ronnie, uh, for those who don't remember, you averaged 32 points a game your senior year, Parade All-American, uh, third highest scorer in Chicago high school history. You're ready to go. And, and everybody said, can't miss NBA prospect. And for various reasons and injury and, and various troubles, uh, it never happened. Uh, what made you want to share your story? Well, for me, like, um, you know, growing up in the city of Chicago, you know, we see a lot of things that, that transpire where kids um, don't get the opportunity to see so many um, people that bounce back in life from different circumstances that may transpire to give a lot of these young kids that's out here, you know, um, in gangs or selling drugs, um, opportunity to, to believe in they can make it in life. And with this story shows my troubles and the things that I've been through to continue to focus on the positive message of, you know, regardless of where you come from, you can make it. What, what part of Ronnie's story, Thatcher, uh, impressed you the most that, that will leave sort of an indelible message on those who, who watch it? I think, like Ronnie just said, the ability to bounce back from certain situations and overcome those and remain positive. And I think Ronnie's at peace with everything that happened because every day he's asked about these questions. And so um, for him to be able to be at peace with that and just be able to keep that positive message of talking with kids and saying no matter what you've gone through, you can overcome these hurdles. And Ronnie's you know, only in his mid-30s, so um, mm -hmm. he's, he's able to relate with these kids at a level that is a lot of other people really just can't. And so I really think that people can come and watch the film. They'll be able to take that away and also get a lot of good basketball anecdotal information from there. We have interviews with Kevin Garnett, Vince Carter, Scoop Jackson, mm -hmm. Mike Bibby, uh, John Paxson, a lot of people who kind of give some intricacies into how the NBA works as well, which I think a lot of people will find that really entertaining as well. Right. A lot of folks may remember that uh, Ronnie played alongside Kevin Garnett, a uh, longtime superstar in the NBA, still playing basketball today. And, and I got to ask you, I mean, I know a lot's transpired since your high school days with Kevin at Farragut, but when you watch him play ball today, there has to be a little bit of that could have been me that you think about? Well, no, I mean, for me, just the opportunity to continue to play. Um, if the circumstance was different, not coming from a, um, a really tragic um, accident, well, you know, I could look at it from that st standpoint, but being able to come back from an accident and be blessed to just continue my career and play around the world to get a chance to see a lot of different things in life um, and how the people deal with things in other parts of the world. You know, I was I was just happy to, to you know, to just to be here and just to be right. able to continue to play. And you're referring to the car accident back in 1996, yes. which. Uh, provided a major obstacle to overcome and I'm, I'm sure that still haunts you to this day well at times I mean I do think about it but um, I'm like I say I'm blessed and fortunate to still be here and as a matter of fact to be walking um, mm -hmm. I didn't you know a lot of people didn't think that I'll be able to continue my career after that but I was right. able to fight back and continue to keep it moving you played overseas you played in the CBA and and now you're you're, uh, you're starting a new phase of your life you're gonna be an assistant coach at uh, Fenwick High School right yeah, yeah. I mean, it gave me a you know opportunity to uh, work with a lot of the young kids um, that's up and coming now I mean Chicago has lately been a hotbed for basketball oh. and a lot of these kids are thriving you know to continue to get better and 
and with my knowledge of plan and knowledge of um, certain certain situations, I'm able to you know get back and help them. It's great to see you, Ronnie. Thatcher, one more time, tell me about the premiere. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be July 11th at 7 p.m. at Park Community Church. It's a central location in the city, 1001 North Crosby, and people can go to bouncebacktickets.com to secure tickets. And if there's any coaches out there who okay. have teams, right. we'd really love to get them in the door. So just reach out to us directly, and we'll yeah. be able to take care of them for sure. Exactly. Ronnie, great to see you again. Hey, you too. All the best to you. you. We, go, you. we go back away. <laughs> I know. Thank, Thank you, you so much.